Hello friends, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and welcome back to How To Mondays. Now in this video today, I'll show you how you can clone uh, the apps that you have installed on your Android and then run two instances at the same time. This trick doesn't require any root access and then you can use it on any other device without any issues and it's very great and like it's very helpful for people who would like to use dual WhatsApp, Facebook or any other app. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and see how the trick works. So friends, the very first thing that you'll have to do is download and install an app called Parallel Space Multiple Account and it is a free app that you can download from the Play Store. Now once the app is installed, you need to tap on the icon to launch it and then it will give you a parallel space uh, area wherein you can add apps using this plus sign that is at the bottom of the screen. Now let me just uh, go ahead and install and I guess WhatsApp is WhatsApp and Facebook are one of the two apps that most of our user would want to use. So let me just go ahead and add WhatsApp and it is that easy. Now this particular app actually uh, clones the, the base app uh, using a different signature and then install it in a sandbox kind of an environment. So once you launch it, it is like a newly WhatsApp that you have installed and then it will say agree and continue. So let me just quickly uh, initialize this particular WhatsApp and then I'll show you how I use it with one of the existing WhatsApp app that is installed on my phone. So now the second instance of WhatsApp is initialized and let me just tap on continue and this is like a totally new WhatsApp and if you can see I already have uh, other instance of WhatsApp already up and running that's my default WhatsApp. So let me just try and send an SMS from WhatsApp like the second WhatsApp I'm so sorry it's confusing and I'll just say WhatsApp 2 and WhatsApp 1. So this is the WhatsApp 2 and I'll just send myself a message. Now let me see if I have already added myself as a contact and yes I'm already there and let's just say myself hi this is the second WhatsApp. Now as you can see that my first WhatsApp has already received the message and both of them works great in parallel. So great. And here you go. And as you can see again, now this uh, notifications comes from the parallel app, but then it justifies everything that is to there. Now apart from uh, WhatsApp, you can add any app that is installed on your phone. So let's just say if you're on Twitter, Gmail, Facebook or any other app. So let me just try and uh, let's just say Uber as uh, most of us who have a dual SIM phone might want to use a dual instance of Uber and let's just say like for a business or a private account. So once you tap on Uber and it will ask you to sign in or register like it's a new app that is installed. Now you can create the shortcut of these app onto your home screen and all you need to do is tap and hold it and then drag on the option that says create shortcut. Now you can uh, add as many number of apps that you have installed but yes if you have like like you cannot add two instances of new whatsapp or two instances of the new facebook and it's just limited to one clone at a time but then you can add any number of apps and it's not limited as we can see now the next question that you might be having is the battery uh, usage of parallel space along with all the permissions it requires and because of so many apps running in the background uh, you can already uh, go through the XDA page where the developer says that all the permissions are required for the apps that are configured inside parallel space to run smoothly and depending upon the apps that you have configured in there uh, you'll get the high battery usage or a low battery usage. So that was how you can clone uh, two apps on Android using parallel space and this is one of the best working apps that I've seen on the Play Store and thumbs up for that seriously. So if you have any doubts, please do ask me in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.